guys, it's Jeff, that church marketing guy, coming at you today with some marketing advice for your church. So last week we talked about buyer personas, which we talked uh, about calling parishioner personas or seeker personas or, or whatever you want to call them. A persona for someone in your church, someone that your church, a demographic that they're trying to target, that they're trying to get more people out of that demographic to the church. So you want to create a persona for that person and you want to make it as detailed as possible. Then what you want to do is you want to create a spiritual journey for them to be on. So you want to pick different moments in a spiritual journey. Uh, maybe it's the first exposure to the gospel. Maybe the first time they came up to church. Maybe it was the first time that they really felt like they connected with God. Maybe it's they've just come back from a retreat. Maybe they are super on fire for God. Maybe they're falling and they're backsliding and they're not so close to God. And you want to create content for where each persona is on their spiritual journey. Uh, and and so you want to use the uh, use the parishioner persona or the seeker persona to determine the type of content that that person likes to consume and then produce that medium of content for where they are on their spiritual journey. Maybe it's a single mom who's going back to school at night to try and better their life uh, for her and her kids and you know she really likes to read blogs. So you'd write a blog like five tips on how to get your kids super ready for school in the morning because if you've ever tried to get kids ready for school in the morning, you know it's the absolute worst and that you just will die of old age before they can get out the door by themselves. Maybe it's somebody else. Maybe it's a university student, their first time away from their home church. Maybe they're backsliding. Maybe they're uh, not connected to a church where they are at the university yet and you want to produce content for them. Maybe you know they like videos so you can produce uh, encouraging videos on how to or inspiring videos or use Instagram and create Instagram posts on, on how to, to stay, keep your faith alive when you're in the middle of a secular environment. Whatever it is, you want to produce content for them where they find themselves on that spiritual journey so that you can target that demographic specifically and bring in the people that you need, the people who are, are absent from your church. This is a really great resource. Not enough churches are using it. Please sit down with your team, create these parishioner personas and these spiritual journeys, create content that speaks to people in a way and, and reveals Jesus in new and amazing ways. We live in an uh, unparalleled time for fulfilling the Great Commission. Never before has it been easier to get the Word of God out to the world because we have the World Wide Web, we have air travel, we can be on the other side of the planet tomorrow if we wanted to, or in some cases, today. We need to be producing content that people want to watch, that people are going to consume, that's going to bring them closer to Jesus, that's going to help them out in their lives and give them something to hold on to. That's it for me today. Until next time, communicate clearly, focus your message, and grow your church. God bless. Thank you.